we then set the website live. Jesus Christ. Wait, he said, he said, wait, <laughs> you never said that. You said it. I say so many different things every time. <laughs> we would never say that. Hi everyone, David here from Zoma and welcome back to our behind the scenes episodes. Today is episode four and we'll be going through how we develop beautiful websites for our clients. The first stage is when the client contacts us here at the Zoma office and then we send out a questionnaire to the client to determine what websites they like and what style they like of a website. And then we also find out a little bit about their business to then properly make a website that conveys their business online. So the next step for us, which is so crucial in the whole um, success of the project, is uh, obviously reviewing the information we've collected from our initial contact and uh, questionnaires that we filled out on that initial contact and uh, reviewing that and, and also reviewing all of the existing content um, and material that our client may have. So that can come in the form of what is their existing website, what content have they created for that website right now, and is any of that content going to be up to par or up to standard for what we're going to be doing in our project going forward. In a lot of instances, what we find with customers is content has been created for their websites of old that doesn't really serve a purpose and hasn't got an exact use case. So our real philosophy when it comes to reviewing content and establishing what's needed is what are we trying to achieve? What are we trying to make that content do? Is it to create brand awareness? Is it actually very specific to the product or service? Is it going to be used in a targeted campaign? Is it not? Um, you know, there are so many instances uh, and reasons for what content is used for. So it's very important at this point that we establish that because it sets the premise going forward in the project for uh, a lot of things that we do and it's so important. So that's really where we're at at the moment. Um, and then we're on to the next step after that, but it's, it's a crucial stage in the process. So after we've reviewed the content that you have already, we determine what additional content you might need to either support your existing content or to promote a different aspect of your business. We then go into developing a proposal customized specifically for you that will outline costs for each area of the project as well as timelines to first draft, second draft and through the final completion. We break down the project costs into each different area of what we provide everything from building your brand right up to marketing it after your website's completed and everything in between. The reason that we do it like this is for complete transparency and flexibility from your point of view that you can pick and choose which aspects of our services that you want to that you want to take up and you know exactly how, how much that is going to cost you and how long it's going to take from the start. Uh, so once our creative team receive the questionnaire, we have a proposal agreed on, all pricing and costs, everything has been agreed upon. We can then look at implementing a project. Um, so once we've reviewed the content, which is so important to the success of the website, um, we can then see if we need to go and start shooting for the website. So we can look at, do we need hero images? Do we need videos to explain products or services? Do we need photography of the team, of offices, of whatever it may be to enhance the website experience? So once uh, we get our, all our content together, um, we review it, we see where it's best positioned on the website to make sure that there's a good flow uh, and customer experience throughout the site as well. Um, then we can go and start designing up the website. So like there's loads of different styles and teams to a website. There's loads of different uh, functions for a website. You know, people would have a website that's like a brochure style website, highlighting their services, what they're about, what to do. Whereas you may have an e-commerce site, which is completely different on a different platform, and um, which would all be about the products, what the products do, explaining the products, everything like that. So that's why it's so important for us to review everything to make sure that we're delivering a really good output at the end of it. Um, we'll always look at what's the best platform for the website, whether it's Wix, if it's Shopify or if there's another solution that we need. 
Um, so look, we'd always put most of our e-commerce sites on Shopify. Um, it's one of the best e-commerce platforms out there. The majority of our brochure websites, service industry websites would be put on Wix. Um, because of the different functionalities that are there with booking systems, memberships, etc, etc. Um, then we can start developing draft one of the website. So you would go home page, about us pages, contact pages, services, everything like that. Develop drafts all from the brief and you would then present this to the client um, to get their ideas, uh, see what they feel for the website. Is it going to you know, engage with their customers as well. All this information would be reviewed then on draft one. We come back, sit down as a team again, look at seeing how we can improve draft one to bring it to a final draft then uh, for our clients. And then it's ready for uh, sign off then. And then it goes into our sign off stage. After the final draft has been sent to clients, we then set up a meeting over video call or in person. This is to make sure that the client is comfortable at editing and managing the website. And once we feel confident that they can do this, we then launch the website. So look, once it's all been signed off, um, the training, test and everything has been completed, we would then look at going live with the website. Uh, you'd hook the domain up to the website. You'd also sometimes need to have a changeover period from existing websites to a new website platform. Um, or if it's just a website that's been built from scratch, you know, you just go live straight away. So you need to make sure that everything is right uh, when we are changing over. Uh, so our team are always checking the domain, they're checking the emails are still working, they're checking that, you know, the website still ranks really well um, and that any SEO that was done on the site previously transferred across to this new site as well. So they're all very important um, parts of going live with a website. Once it goes live then, look, you'd submit it to Google to be re-indexed um, that's how Google will recognise that you've launched a new website. Um, you'd obviously get ready then for uh, graphics for your socials and stuff like that to highlight that you have a new website. So that's stuff we'd help clients with as well. Um, and then that's really it then, you know, like that's the site is live. We would keep an eye on it for uh, a couple of weeks with clients. If we're continuously working and doing marketing campaigns, like we're always going to be on it anyway. Um, but we're there for support uh, on the website because look, we know when you're changing over, you may have questions on how you might edit it or if you run the blog or whatever it is. So we're there to help um, with that support. So like that's really it um, in terms of the website development and how Zoma goes about developing websites and content for websites. Um, if you would like to uh, see more of our episodes, you can check out our YouTube channel and um, you'll see all the behind the scene episodes that are there already and we have a few more coming down the line as well. Um, so be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you soon.